All right, time to talk about the part two banners. MH double X alter Maxa. I'm calling her Maxa just for reason. Uh, and because it's super early, we're going to be bouncing between this, uh, this page on Atlas and, uh, fandom just because fandom kind of has the rough draft for, uh, the servant done. They just have that add in the last stuff. So I like the artwork, like it a lot, especially the fact that she's carrying fucking dual sights. I, like, I really like it, but it, it does fit her. Uh, base attack, 9.6K, good number for a four star. Uh, full gorilla deck, uh, four hits on everything, five hit extra attack. Yeah, triple buster, oof, on a corner too. We've honestly needed that. Like, so many of the foreigners have gimmicks. We kind of did need a foreigner that, like, was no gimmicks. This is just, like, raw fucking damage. Uh, and really hope she has existence outside of the domain for a triple buster deck. Really hope so. Because then Van Gogh can just drop in and, like, along, like, you don't use Oberon, you do double bitch Van Gogh and you should have some disgusting crits. Uh, MP gain 0.65. Wait, did it? Did that have it? Oh, okay. Yeah, get out of here. All right, yeah, 0.65%. Uh, for these two cards, that is really gross for a Mighty Chain. Like, Yeah, no, Arts card lats, you should get a lot of MP. Yeah, but for triple buster decks, they always make the quick and arts card like a lot better just because you only have one of them. Uh you'll also be doing just like normal buster reloading stuff. Uh so you'll be getting gauged just by clicking the buster cards. And yeah. I'm glad she at least has a good quick card. So first skill, two turn invo, uh, two time invo that lasts for three turns, twenty percent attack, uh, herself, fifteen stars and fifteen stars per turn. Not a bad print skill. Uh, this being on a seven turn, like for double bitch, it's annoying. But we have uh, we have the new append system, so you can just use that if you have the extra coins bring this down to six and then you'll be able to double stack this second skill 30 percent buster up uh 500 buster star weight for three turns and increases crit damage by 30 percent for three turns i don't know it kind of feels like they want you to use it feels like they're telling you use double van go not double bitch it's like this is overkill if you're giving her bitch buffs too. Like this is like actual overkill. You double stack this. I don't think any servant is gonna take stars. Like I think our buster cards are like, if there are stars on the field, they're the buster cards are getting them. It's like bitches 5,000. Uh, wait, isn't it 5,000% star weight? And then this on top of, yeah, no, holy shit. And third skill. Okay, so I double checked how this actually worked. Uh, this is similar to Lady Avalon, but different. This is only 10%. The uh, battery based on how many enemies on the field, this is static 10%. And I believe it actually says it here too. Yes. Uh, I believe, obviously we can't test this right now, uh, or we couldn't test it before because it was only story nodes in the event, but I'm pretty sure this is only servants on the field. So this caps out at 60 if you're fighting six enemies and 30 if you're fighting three and just 10 if you're only fighting one. Uh, then it's a 20 battery for herself. So in general this is always going to be at least a 30 battery uh it might be more some other times but it's static uh 
it's a static uh 20 battery uh static 30 battery sorry with just more on top and she gets 30 percent mp gen yeah she is built so that she does not need double vich and she can do double van go and like pretty much there is no real difference just besides like the buster part up but even double van go like you still throw in a bitch or like anyone else i probably would do bitch though because like merlin is crit damage only lasts for a turn and but bitches last for three turns like and brought if you actually do double bitch uh, or double van go with uh maxa you are definitely hitting that crit cap there there is no conceivable way yes uh so going to the passives existence outside the domain this means she does work with uh van gogh so yeah probably avoid using merlin just because you're going to hit the crit cap very you'll hit it very soon um yeah she's just gonna be super flexible and she's chaotic evil so you can bring dome in too like she holy shit she got so many good um things to buff herself with uh mads madness enhancement c for a six percent buster uh 17.5 percent debuff resist and then another 21 percent on top of it so total of 38.5 percent debuff resistance yeah <laughs> good luck good luck debuffing her this is in goddess essence uh magic resist combo but it really isn't that far off uh a pens uh what are a pens what pens do you have anti-assassin <laughs> she's killing them. okay okay so i would say if you do not have this you're gonna want to do double van gogh after you get this you can do double vich for uh to be able to double stack the attack but it's not gonna be that big of a thing like you are gonna want to double stack the skills don't get me wrong but it's not like she has like some really crazy uh buffs that to double stack herself with it's it really is the buster up the crit damage and the attack buff anything else is kind of just butter for her to be like double stacking but yeah so definitely mana loading uh skill reloading and if you have more coins you can go uh extra attack we're gonna be able to swap pens later and we got the seven coins today for bond levels so who knows maybe some people are able to uh unlock other people already today her obviously you're gonna have to summon for all right so mp power mod against lawful enemies power mod against good enemies and double damage full super effective damage against ruler class servants and she gets a 20 battery on top of that he is an MP spammer like fucking crazy. Holy shit. Oh, OC is MP damage, but it's a really, really low MP damage overcharge. Uh, this is not something I'd even worry about. Like if she's going in the chain, she's going first. Uh, and because of these power mods, she probably doesn't even want uh, you to. She wants to be doing brave chains too yeah because the power bonds will apply to uh all your face guards so yeah especially if you actually bring her against rulers like she is doing avenger damage for just the mp but even still she'll have 60 percent power mods uh to hit john amokusa okay actually i think this is just gonna be faster to see like pull up lawful good go to rulers and count how many are okay one two three four five six seven eight 
Uh, okay, only eight of these. Only eight. Interesting. Uh, home assistant? No, neutral. Okay. But, you, like, I was just talking about, like, full advantage. Uh, lawful, balanced. No rulers here. EO. Funny toy. Yeah, just in general, she got really, really, really good super effective mods for being anti ruler. Or uh, power mods, I should say. 20 battery on top is definitely nice. She is 100% gonna be like an MP spammer. Uh. Mats to level, it's not showing on here. But to, oh, okay, here we go. Gear, claws, gallstones, hearts, reactor cores. Oh no, my mouse just died, unfortunate. Oh my God, my mouse didn't die. It just fucking DC'd for no reason. God damn it. All right, uh, mats to level. These are, she needs a lot of gold mats. Like a lot of them. This is not gonna be a cheap servant, and her final append requires a uh ordeal call three mat. Uh Bonsi. Probably power mod against lawful and lo power mod against good. Probably both of them. Yep. Okay. So, is Maxa a good addition to the Saber Faces? Absolutely. fucking uh, Just in general, uh, I'm going to go through the corners right now. And talk about, like, this class in general. Um, besides Cuckoo, there has not been, like, a full gorilla that isn't... And Cuckoo is, like, more of a farmer to a lot of people. They don't see her as a crit servant even though she can do like a fucking fantastic job on it uh it's just because she doesn't have existence outside the domain she has been held back from like what she actually could be doing for a good reason the amount of like steroids cuckoo has and she was able to use um van gogh fucking ridiculous so now we have a buster like finally a buster gorilla for the foreigner class because you look through all of these uh she is definitely not a crit servant not to say the least of a buster crit servant uh arts crit arts crit mp spam arts crit mp spam uh quick crit uh mp spam sub sub dps support crit god everything lots of stuff what it, okay yeah no maxa is what idol x wants to be but like just works better because she like until Ma uh mixa loses the hit count uh for her first skill like it's just flat three turns this one's always gonna be better like this is the buster crit corner we've been waiting for should you be subbing specifically for her probably not but abigail just got a buff probably because of like how uh damnable this buster mp is actually gonna be i feel like abigail is definitely gonna have a one up in like raw damage undeniably but this is like farming mp spam that you don't that you're not gonna have like bad downtime yeah so for single core farming you're not gonna have downtime like you do with abigail because abigail if you're not doing enough damage to kill and you don't and you're not able to card, you are really shit out of luck. Uh, Maxa, you should be able to card if you if things don't go well. Yeah, Abigail can't card. Maxa can. All right. Uh, time to get this edited and start summoning. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. 
If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.